Welcome back. In order to install WordPress or any other CMS, you have two options. The one is to go to apps and in here Vista CP will redirect you to Softaculous which is quite popular script installer. But in order to install a script, you have to buy subscription of Softaculous. If I click on WordPress, you will see like uh, there is option to install now, but it would say like WordPress cannot be installed in free version. You have to buy subscription. So in here, if you see they are charging like dollar eight per year, which is justified if you are planning to install multiple websites or you want to have multiple clients. But if you don't want to spend dollar eight per year, there is another option, which is to download CMS. Let's say WordPress. and then upload it to server, extract it. I'm just going to show you how you can do this. So click on get WordPress and let the WordPress download. Head towards file manager and in file manager, open the domain where you want to install WordPress. In domain you have to get inside public underscore html and here you have to click on upload and then you see wordpress has now been uploaded next you have to my mistake you have to extract it all right click on extract now wordpress has been extracted now select all these files and move it to public underscore html directory I have to type here and then I am going to click move. So if you see all the files have been moved from here and now all these files are in public underscore HTML directory. I am going to delete this WordPress zip file. So let me just delete it. Now if I go to my main domain, you see I, I have been redirected to installation of WordPress. I'll click on continue and then let's go. For installation of WordPress, I need database. So I have to go back to control panel and I have to create one database for WordPress. So click on add database and let's say password, generate the password, click add. After that, click submit. Then the installation. So this is my first website on Vista CP. No, not mine. It your first website on Vista CP. And give the username, the password. Let's copy it. And I have to like one. User. and then enter your mail id
After that, click install WordPress. Click login. Remember me and login. So you can see that our WordPress is successfully installed. But if you remember that we enabled SSL for this domain name, however, we are not accessing it over HTTPS. So in that case, you need to go to settings general. And here you need to change the WordPress address site address to HTTPS. And then you see SSL has been enabled and connection is secure. After that, all right. I have to copy the password. So this is how you install WordPress on Vista CP. And if I go to the website, you see WordPress is running smoothly. You can see I also got one mail. Okay, your WordPress site has been. Okay, this is the email address I used during installation. If you want to install another CMS, like uh, let's say Joomla then uh, again you have to go to Joomla website and download installation file from there because once again it won't I mean Subtaculous won't allow you to install with free version so this is rather useless in that case you go to joomla.com sorry joomla.org and download joomla and then go to file manager upload it to whichever domain you want and then you can install another cms like that so this is end of this lecture and see you in the next lecture